Hello Africa, hello world, welcome to another exciting VN News coming to you from our studios here in Accra, Ghana. We are accessible on www.vnationtv.com. My name is Gavin FNK. Follow us on our various social media handles and let's get interactive. Coming up on today's bulletin, Ghana movie industry stakeholders split over internal differences. Ghanaian television personality delays say celebrities are not devils. From Nigeria, first ever Miss Nigeria Miss Grace Atinuke 86 tells her story. Total DK advises parents to watch their children more during this holiday season. Adesu applauds Banky for his response to the stalker that insulted them for driving an old car. Two Faces used Blackface Ninja for 50 million naira over song ownership. A rugged man blasts ACP Shogunde for saying he has abandoned the NSAS movement. And on the international front, Ellie Roth and Lorenzo Izo announces that they are divorcing. Still coming up, Serena Williams' father Richard to face mental evaluation. Details of all the stories and sports coming up on today's bulletin. We'll go for a short commercial break, we'll be right back. Position it well for me. <laughs> Food day decides. Food day. They've not given me money. I'm just doing it for them for free. So that the next time I'll start from there. The way your waist was going, pak pamu, pak 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 pamu, pak 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 pamu, pak 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 pamu, pak pak. How I like it. So when you get there, just walk straight. Since what I say, you don't know get saying. Give me back. I'll beat you rough, rough. Uh, officers. Yes. Who, who is officer? Gaso. Yes, you are Kotombe. Me, Kotombe. Yes, you are Kotombe. Hey, you are well -led. So, so now you are you, you want to fight me? Go bring squeeze. Hey. One day I'll beat you. Let me see this thing. What oh, baby for complain? Wheat, Indian hand. A black wheat, black wheat, black wheat. Two Papas showing on VNTV every Friday at 2 p.m. Right, you welcome back. This is VN News, and we are coming to you from our studios here in Accra, Ghana. It's either you're watching us live on Facebook or live on our TV channel, V Nation TV. Follow us on our various social media handles and let's get interactive. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for you to get a repost of this particular news bulletin. Now, let's move straight to a first story coming from Ghana, where a Ghana movie industry stakeholders split over internal differences. A lot of people have been complaining that the movie industry is dwindling. Now, I think they are gradually coming up with the grassroots of the problem, and that's the fact that there is no unity within the heads or among the heads in the movie industry not too long the movie industry heads called on the government to see the the industry as a business they can literally include into their budget for they to contribute their quarter into the nation's economy well as it stands the film producers association of ghana fipag has condemned an individual's decision to rename the ghana film industry as gollywood remember when i was bringing this report during the week i made mention of the fact that the change of the name from gollywood to gollywood did not go down well with a lot of people and FIPAG has come out to also make their complaints. Now, FIPAG is actually supposed to be one of the bodies that are for, supposed to make the decisions in the movie industry. But as it stands, it seems Mr. Richard Boatin, who happens to be the, the film director's, uh, you know, the president of the film director's guild in, in, in Ghana, they are saying that he made the decision solely. Now, it is this same man, Mr. Uh, Richard Boatin, who traveled to India who claim he's gone to India to get data to come and better the movie industry in Ghana. And when he came back from India, he came to produce a movie titled Mr. India. How can you produce a movie Mr. India and you're in Ghana? Well, that still did not go down well with a lot of filmmakers in the industry, but as it stands, it seems the Ghana movie industry, hit stakeholders are not united. They are having issues and they've condemned the change of the name from Gollywood to Gollywood. We know their differences will be resolved as time goes on, but as it stands, it feels, it seems they are complaining that uh, the whole system right now is being is being headed by just one person and the decision is just coming from that same person who happens to be mr richard boati wish them uh, the very best we're going to see how they pan out with this particular uh, conflict in the movie industry wish them the best away from that story still in ghana ghanaian television personality delay says celebrities are not devils and i think i have to second her to that because as it stands she used her experience not too long during an interview to to share to the world that People see celebrities as devils. According to her, in a church in particular, whenever she goes for services, people stare at her like, is she for real? They don't have, you know, the, the, the way they stare at her at church, it makes her feel uncomfortable. The way church members and even men of God 
preaches about celebrities, about entertainers, they see entertainers as a devil incarnate. They see them as people who portray or carry devil around. But at the end of the day, she's come out to say that celebrities are not devils. They are human beings who have the gift of entertaining people by living the different personalities of individuals all around the world. So Dele has come out to say that when you see a celebrity out there as an individual who is not in the entertainment industry, don't see them as devils based on what they've portrayed on screen because the screen is just their job. They have a real life and they are not a devil. So she's catching everyone all around the world and to actually see celebrities as they are the good people who make people smile and put smiles on the face of millions all around the world. Those are major stories coming from Ghana. Log on to our website www.vnationtv.com to get more trending stories. Moving straight to Nigeria. Now, real beauty doesn't end. Real beauty lasts longer. And one of such real beauty is first ever Miss Nigeria, Mrs. Grace Atenuke. 86 tells her story. At 86, she's still looking fabulously great now 86 she looks like 50 yes the the, the the pictures you're seeing right now is the first ever miss nigeria mrs grace adenuka now born november 16 1931 mr adenuka is known to be the first ever miss nigeria having won the pageant in 1953 so yes the first ever miss nigeria was held in 1957 actually sorry now 1957 he won it and until now She's still looking fabulously great. Now, that's to tell you that, you know, those from the old know how to manage their system compared to uh, now beauty queens who go through various surgeries, various things and all that, upliftment and all that. Well, Mrs. Adenuka Grace is looking great and she's 86 actually this year. She'll be turning, uh, November this year, she'll be turning 87. We're going to see how that celebration comes. And now, Oye Lute, Miss Grace Oye Lute also currently holds the chief Tansi title as Iya Olu of Isalu Land and Iya Olode of Okun Land. She has many, many grandchildren and she's still li living great. Now, she, during telling the part of the interview she had, uh, speaking about her story, she made mention of the fact that when she started, the beauty pageant it was just about you uh, ladies posting their pictures sending their pictures to organizers but as a stand it has grown and she's encouraged all ladies out there to know how to treat themselves and take care of themselves properly natural care is always the best you can see she's a result of natural care not all those cosmetology and all those big big you know grandmas they have in cosmetics nowadays i know my makeup artist is not happy with that but at the end of the day yes Please, the ladies should take care of themselves naturally. Wish them all the very, very best. Still in Nigeria, Tonto Diki advises parents to watch their children more during this holiday season. Well, it's high time this advice comes out from not just an individual, but from a parent. Tonto Diki herself who happens to be a mother. She loves her son so much. Now, she's saying to all parents out there, in this season that the kids are home, make sure you take care of your kids properly put your eyes on them even as much as you've given them to nannies to take care of make sure that the nannies you bring into your homes are trustworthy people from a reliable source and even if you're leaving your kids with a family member make sure that that family member or that person has the capacity to take care of your child as you would be as you would do in your absence so turn to the advice parents all around the nation of nigeria and the world who are whose uh, kids right now are uh, in this uh, vacation season to make sure they take care of their kids properly so it's uh, that we all know the most recent incident we wouldn't want to go into that again so it's an advice from Tonto DK the celebrity herself that every parent out there should actually put into consideration wish them the best as well now Adesso applauds Banky for his response to the stalker that insulted them for driving an old car mm. I was actually expecting both of them to come at the same time to say something. But at the end of the day, he came first, which is the Mr. Willington, Banky W himself. And now Adesua has applauded him. Now, one thing I didn't mention yesterday when I was bringing that report was the fact that Banky W's response was a huge, long write-up. That if you go through it, it will take you like 10 to 15 minutes to finish reading. So yes, now she's come out to say that that write-up is not just an advice. It's an advice for life. According to Adesua, this is not a response, it's a write-up for life lessons. So Nollywood actress Adesua Tommy Willington has taken to Twitter to applaud her husband, Banky W, for his detailed reply to the stalker who shared a video of him driving in his 2008 Range Rover, which they claim it was uh, 1999. But during his response, he made mention of the fact that the Range Rover was actually 2008 Range Rover. Now, she has come out to say that, you know what, my boo, which is her husband, Banky, can make 
a lemon out of a lemon, you know, a lemon out of a lemon, whichever way it goes. So she's come out to say that the, the, the response from Banky W is an advice for life that everybody should take into consideration. Yes, wish them the best. We know how their love is going so far and they are going well. So those those guys, those ladies who came out to say mm, they are using an old car, it is I'm sure by now they are they are wishing they didn't, they never came out in the first place because first and foremost the uh, Don Jazzy blasted them for that and every other person who, who is a fan to the to the willing things. Away from that story, still in Nigeria, Rugged Man blasts ACP Shogun Lee for saying he has abandoned the end SAS movement. So Rugged Man has called out Yomi Shogun Lee, the assistant commissioner of police, after he shared a fake story about him. Now, Yomi Shogun Lee shared a photo of Rugged Man with a federal SAS officer and alleged that Rugged Man, who has been very vocal in his call to end SAS, has now turned around to join those calling for SAS to be reformed rather than to be scrapped. And that did not go down well with Rugged Man. He came out to say that uh, the, the ACP was lying seriously lying saying the acp was lying because he rugged man is still standing the, on his ground saying that sas must end and not for them to be reformed no one is calling for because when you want to reform a particular sector that means the sector is still existing for it to be reformed but now they are saying end it we don't want to reform so yes rugged man has blasted acp shogunle for saying he has abandoned the end sas movement and he's saying to nigeria he says nigerians i am all for answers until the force is reformed and reoriented on how to treat people as humans as they are so yes a rugged man is saying he's not uh, you know in the end in the part of saying i'm supporting sas no he's still standing saying and sas and i think the NSAS is not going to end anytime soon we're going to see how that pans out finally from stories coming from nigeria two face sues black face ninja for 50 million naira over song ownership well these two people are back in the news again. Now, two Baba suing him. Uh, now, this is actually coming from Blackface. Blackface is the one who publicly came out right now, sharing uh, an affidavit saying, claiming that Two Face and his management team are suing him for the song African Queen and every other song that he, Blackface, is claiming he wrote. And uh, Two Face, uh, some years ago, sued him for defamation and others. But still, it seems that the case ended that, you know, that period two years ago. But as it stands, the Two Face is literally, or Two Baba, is picking up the case again. Now, Blackface Ninja has for years been claiming uh, his former uh, bandmate, Two Baba, stole the song African Queen, which went one of uh, Two Face's hit songs from him after their band Plantation Boys disbanded. Now, Blackface Ninja had also claimed his former bandmate stole from him the song let somebody love you now in may 2017 uh two baba threatened to sue blackface ninja for defamation and of character if the latter doesn't apologize and withdraw the false and defamatory statements which uh, i think uh, blackface ninja did not do now this year 2018 to be precise they are picking up that lawsuit again and are charging him for for him to pay 50 million naira if it goes against him he will be paying 50 million naira but according to him according to blackface ninja he's saying it is time for he and his legal team to pick up the case so it seems it seems uh, it means in 2017 when the case was brought against them they never took up the case legally now they are ready because they had 50 million naira now they are ready to pick it up legally we're going to see how that works for uh, blackface ninja and two baba who is already still trending wish them all the best now those are the major stories we have coming from nigeria we'll go for a short commercial break when we come back we'll bring you stories from the international front we'll be right back My country people are on a day or Saturday don't reach for another one don't get more news on another way where they do one. Federal government don't provoke follow people where they said codeine. Say everybody now for not. So they they drink up full full full. They they swallow codeine. They know they put they miss again. Everybody now they drink up waka like the bottle. You hear this one to say because say Bowari na friend na. Just go here. You only hear no one apology. One of our honorable they call her man. Yeah, yeah, you. What you they do face like cro cro so <laughs> you are welcome. I just pay you for this way you do. I like your your gorima pasha. Yeah, gorima pa not be your. Even the guy way they back when I the DSS on a SS on a wanting wanting. The guy confused. If you say the guy don't make to, he call he call he call he call the spire. He call the do hair like this. He call the spire. Mock News, showing only on VNTV every Saturday at 14 GMT.
You welcome back. This is VN News, and we are still coming to you live from our studios here in Accra, Ghana. We are accessible on www.vnationtv.com. Just go and buy a couple of stories from Ghana and Nigeria. Log on to our website www.vnationtv.com to get more trending stories, and also subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the repost of this particular news bulletin. Now let's move straight to the international front, where Ellie Roth and Lorenzo Izzo announced they are divorcing. Another Hollywood marriage has hit the rock. Popular horror movie director Ellie Roth confirmed that his six year marriage to actress Lorenza Izzo is over. The award winning filmmaker shared the news very lightheartedly on his social media platforms adding that they are separating so they don't uh, fe feel killing each other. They don't feel like killing each other. Well when two people move out of love now into hatred the best they just have to, they just have to separate so yes the two are separating he is one of the finest uh, hollywood director he his, his horror movies are always top notch and he's a good actress as well well if they are divorcing because they feel they now hate each other rather than the love they're supposed to feel who are we to complain wish them the best and see how it turns out in this their divorce now finally on the international front quite a sad story here where serena williams father richard to face mental evaluation so mr richard who happens to be a former tennis coach is currently going through some phase in his life right now he recently you know he's, uh, he's having a divorce issue with his 38 year old wife uh, who has allegedly stolen from him taking lots of mortgages you know a lot of stuff from him well i think the divorce is actually putting the man in a mental disorder state he went for for, for, for court hearing not too long and he was not able to defend himself or respond you know rightly to questions that are being thrown to him so as he stands he, uh, he will be facing or he'll be going through uh, mental evaluation for for they to uh, determine his mental state but we all know that as he stands right now it is the divorce with his uh, you know wife and strange wife that is what is currently putting him in that state with serena williams and venus williams all the very best we know as he stands they are currently by his side where well, uh, sharing him up we just wish them all the very 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 best well those are the major stories we have coming from the international front log on to our website www.vnationtv.com you get more trending stories there focus sports is next after this v nation pictures is a production firm in ghana aimed at becoming the renowned production company in africa and beyond Services rendered include film production and editing, shooting of TV commercials and videos, photo shooting, event coverage such as wedding, engagement, parties, funerals, etc. Locate V-Nation Pictures inside King Solomon's Heights on the Tampolini Street of the Community 18 Road. Contact V-Nation Pictures on 030-3962-776 or 0240-289-952. For booking inquiries, you can also reach us on Excellent and welcome back from that set of commercial break straight away. Let's delve into the world of sports with me, Godwin Niamatego. On behalf of the sports team and also um, the news crew, not forgetting the entire management of VNTV, we are wishing Brahma Azuma Nelson a fantastic, wonderful, terrific, happy birthday. It's actually 60 years today. Azuma Nelson, who was born on 19th of July 1958, is a Ghanaian former professional boxer, widely considered the greatest African boxer of all time, and is currently the 17th greatest pound for pound boxer of all time, according to BoxRex ranking. He held the WBC featherweight title once and also the WBC super featherweight title twice. His nickname, the Professor Zoom Zoom, the Terrible Warrior. He has a fighting record or holds the fighting record of total fight of. 47 wins to a total of 39 by knockout 28 losses of six and not forgetting draws of two he won gold at the commonwealth games in edmonton 1978 in canada he also won gold at the all african games in august 1978 let's move away from the world of boxing and move back to football now in the calf confederations cup Ariana Stars were able to clinch their first victory against Congolese side AS Vita Club. Now, Ghanaian champions Ariana Stars have been handed a massive boost in their CAF Confederations Cup campaign after Raja Casablanca pipped Ivorian heavyweights as Segni Mosa in Abidjan. A 74th minute sport kick expertly converted by Mahmoud Ben Ali gave Moroccan side the three maximum points at the Felix Oufoua Boigny Stadium on Wednesday afternoon. 
the win lifts Raja Casablanca to top spot on a table with five maximum points. Adriana Stars, who won their first game of the competition with a 2-1 win over AS Vita Club, have moved to second spot with four points, the same as third place team as AS Vita Club. As Segment Mosa are languishing at the bottom of the table with three points picked in their opening group game clash against Adriana Stars in Abidjan. In other results, Al Ilal Umduman from Sudan, they drew 2-2 with UD Sungo. FC Bekane were held to a 0-0 scoreline by Al Masri. Joliba of Mali, they defeated Kara Brazzaville by two goals to nil. Also, at Segni Mosa, they lost by a goal to nil against Raja Casablanca. Not forgetting Gormaya, they trashed, crashed and land annihilated young africans by four goals to nil ryan sports also they lost by one goal to two to usm all just not forgetting a new back of nigeria defeating work of ivory coast by a goal to nil away from the world of um, african football and then we are moving to mainstream Europe, where we have quite a number we're talking about mania so now top 10 european clubs according to net transfer spend since 2014-2015 season it is very key very experienced for us to talk about money money is live as well not forgetting that now in number one position manchester city they've spent 569 million pounds sterling that's a whooping large sum of money manchester united following second position 503 million pounds sterling paris saint germain in third position 386 million Barcelona in fourth, Juventus in fifth, Arsenal with 254 million pounds sterling spent in their transfer market, AC Milan 209 million pounds sterling, Liverpool 178, West Ham United 167, not forgetting Watford 153 million, Watford what exactly are they purchasing the likes of Abdullah Dukuri, Richarlison and so on and so forth. Now let's go back to transfer watch and look at quite a number of transfer dealings going on up front. Let's look at Chelsea and I have quite a good news. You can call me the bearer of good news for me. Now Gianfranco Zola, he has joined Chelsea as an assistant manager. Former Chelsea and Italy striker Gianfranco Zola has returned to Stamford Bridge as an assistant manager to new coach Maurizio Sarri. As a player, Zola helped the club to win two FA Cups, one UEFA Cup Winners Cup, one UEFA Super Cup and one League Cup between 1996 to 2003 for me it's an amazing thing i am pleased to be here according to zola zola who resigned as birmingham city manager in april 2017 has joined chelsea's pre-season tour of australia fellow italian sari 59 was appointed blues boss last week after fellow compatriot antonio toto conte was sacked despite winning the premier league title in 2016-2017 and the fa cup last season At I am listening to Ramses Beckanot. We need to bounce out of the studios of VN News. My name is Godwin Ni Amatego. The act of being a very good guest is knowing when to say goodbye. Hi. So all around the world, there are individuals who has in one way touched the lives of so many radio crafts. Now these individuals are either alive or dead. On the bio. So right, that was Focus Sports brought to you by Godwin. Follow us on our various social media handles and let's get interactive. Before I let you go, let me give you a recap of our headlines. Ghana movie industry stakeholders split over internal differences. Ghanaian television personality delay says celebrities are not devils. First ever Miss Nigeria Mrs. Grace Atinuke, 86, tells her story. Tonto DK advises parents to watch their children more during this holiday season. Adesu applauds Banky for his response to the stalker that insulted them for driving an old car. And Two Face sues Blackface Ninja for 50 million naira over song ownership. Rugged Man blasts ACP Oshungun Lane uh, for saying he has abandoned the NSAS movement. 
Ellie Roti and Lorenzo Izo announced their divorcing. And still on the international front, we brought a report about Serena Williams' father, Richard, to face mental evaluation. Details of all the stories and sports we brought to you earlier on, on today's bulletin. Follow us on our various social media handles and let's get interactive. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to get a repost of this particular news bulletin. Once again, my name is Kelvin FNK.